In this video, you will learn how to install the Case and Cabot electric bike step by step. When you purchase a Case and Cabot electric bike, you will get a box like this. Take everything out from the box. These are the tools you will use for installing the bike. The left one comes in the package. Next, let's get everything out and unwrap the bike. This is the main body with all the parts and accessories. Step 1. Handlebar installation. The handlebar will be held in the middle of the stem. So first, let's open the stem by loosening all four screws. Put the handlebar in the stem and put back those screws and tighten the screws up. Step 2. Front wheel installation. Locate the quick release front wheel axle. Remove nut, end, and spring and insert into axle. Replace spring as shown and reinstall nut. Install wheel with rotor on caliper side. Set wheel into dropout and brake caliper. Tighten quick release by turning the nut while also testing for a tight fit with lever. When you close up the quick release, make sure the small head of the spring is towards the center of the wheel. Step 3. Front Fender Installation To install the front fender, loosen the screw and place the fender to the correct position. Tighten the screw, adjust the position of the fender, then finally tighten the screw. You should always check and adjust the fender's position when you hear something wobbling during riding or during maintenance. Step 4. Front Light Installation To install the front light, we need the light holders with punch of screws and washers. In this bag, there are two long screws which are used for the rear rack. The rest of the screws are for installing the front light. The eight short ones are for the light holder. Let's put them on first. Two middle length screws will be used on the side of the light. First, install the screws to the front of the light holder to make them stay on the frame. Then mount the light to the holder by using the longer screws. Then close the back side of the holder as shown and put on the short screws. Last, adjust the light's position to the angle you feel most comfortable, then tighten all screws. Connect the two cable, one is with red head, other one is with green head. Step 5. 
rear light installation. Remove the insert tip. There is a switch to control the rear light. Take off the screws and install the rear light, then check the switch. Step 6. Rear Rack Installation Now we are going to use the longest screws mentioned before to install the rear rack. Do not fully tighten at this point. Once the rack is evenly installed, we will tighten all contact points. The vertical part is for lifting the bike. The max load of the horizontal one is 10 pounds. Do not lift the bike by lifting the horizontal part. Step 7. Derailer installation. The derailleur protector is to avoid any attacks to the derailleur. Remove these screws. Open the protector a little bit wider and mount it on the side of the derailleur. Step 8. Bell installation. Mount the bell to the handlebar with screws and adjust the position. Step 9. Pedal installation. Be aware that pedals are labeled L and R. Both pedals will tighten towards the front of the bike. Make sure the pedals are very tight. You will want to inspect them after the first few rides. Step 10, battery introduction. Notice the key hole and charger adapter. Notice the battery lock mechanism. When you push and hold the power button, the LCD lights will turn on. Green lights on mean battery is full. And red lights on mean battery is low. Step 11. Display instruction. On the side of the display, there are two buttons. One is for menu, another one is for power button. On the top of the display, there is a plus and minus button. They are for changing the power level. Also, the plus button is the switch for the front light. Press and hold it for two to three seconds to turn on and off the front light. We have another video in our channel to fully introduce the function of display. For more details, please check on that video. Hope you will enjoy riding your casing cabinets.